today on Divorce Court. I'm unhappy in my marriage because my husband is a cheater. I had two babies about something else because I was just doing me for real. James accuses me of cheating because the ones that do the most assume the most. I don't trust my wife because the whole hood know her. She's too friendly. I would like for the judge to tell James to start respecting me, appreciate me more. I figure she lies in my face all the time because she's scared of the truth. I do not see me spending the rest of my life with him unless he changes. I tell her all the time, like, we ain't even got to be together. It's her who want to who wanna be together, not me. I want a man that is faithful, that's committed, and that appreciates me like I appreciate Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with James Cannon and Aaliyah Cannon. Mr. and Mrs. Cannon, you have been together five years, married for one, and you have no children together, but you have children from other relationships. You are getting a divorce, and in so doing, Mr. Cannon, you want her to pay you $1,325 for uh, things that we will discuss momentarily. But before we do, Mr. Cannon, tell me, how did we end up in divorce court here today? Well, Your Honor, you know, uh, all women want a good man. Yeah. But uh, a lot of women don't know how to keep them. So as far as the simple fact that, I mean, I admitted in the, in the beginning, I don't, I was doing what I wanted to do. I don't have kids. I don't have babies or whatever. But I changed. You had babies with other women. I had babies with other women. While you were with her. Yeah, but it wasn't. I, we wasn't. We wasn't like. It was. It wasn't like serious. It was like not serious. Serious. I was kind of doing me, but she was kind of serious, and we was living together. She was kind of doing her too. We so were you living together while you had no, these? No, no, I, we didn't really. We wasn't really living together when this happened. Right. So we was. Were you like, living with any one of the other two mothers? I was no. I stayed by myself the whole time. You were I was just all, traveling. We I was were traveling. Together. I was traveling. I was doing me. She was doing her too. She mm -hmm. wanted to make it seem like, oh well, it's all me. It's all me. No, she was. She she was doing her she too. She was up to some. She things. was up to some things too. Like you're on it was for a simple fact. It, it's been some times where, when we was together, like I, this is why we was married. Right. I I was I cleaned up. I was cleaning up the house one day, and uh, as I'm cleaning up, I found her her pants, and in her pants pocket was her. She had some pennies in her pocket. This is why we were married, but they're they're balled up uh -huh. in her pocket. What happened with the panties in the pocket? It was just the panties after I had them on, like I had balled them up, it, like just put them in the pants that I had on, and they was in the line. Miss Cannon, do you think he stopped cheating, or do you think he's still cheating? Just a few days ago, uh -huh. I found that he had he was on a dating site. Uh huh. And on the dating site, you know, I found out through his email uh -huh. that he had this dating site, and when I clicked on it the name of the site popped up and it was a picture of him. And he wrote things about himself saying that he was on there looking for a queen. When I asked him about it, he said it was a religious account. Mm -hmm. And that he was on there trying to find other spiritual people that were just like him. But when you read <laughs> what he wrote, which I have. Oh, well, let me see it. What do you have? Now, 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 Mr. Cannon, while I'm reading what you wrote, why don't you explain why you wrote it? Your Honor, I, I'm on a, a, We all got a regular, uh, a, 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 a female. <laughs> no, we all got We all be on sites, like, uh, whether they're, like, Everybody dating. don't do dating sites. No, not, not, I mean, not dating sites. I mean, it's just another site that everybody be on. Like, it's, like, you know, people got <laughs> Facebook or then they got other... No, 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 let me read what he said, Joe. I'm fun-loving and free. I'm a provider, and I am the head and not the tail. I've grown a lot over the years from being in the streets to being saved and praising the Lord. I have a great testimony that I will carry with me forever. My story is beautiful. I'm just looking for a queen to share it with. He's putting that divorce. That's, that's, not, that's not really cheating, Your Honor. I mean, everybody have... It's, not, it's, it's the same as having... A Facebook. I really, that's like everybody got Facebook. Looking for a queen? I that's mean, exactly just, what I that's said. A, that's saying I want a woman. Yes. I, and you said I'm free, and you're not free. You're married. Yeah. You're, you're hollering God and lying at the same time. Yeah. Thank you. Lord. <laughs> you uh, you might be right about that. Yeah, there you go. I but know it, I'm it right. It just it just at certain time, but it's, it's it's but I have plenty of reasons why I feel like I'm I, I need to be looking for other things because she's not giving me everything that I need. Well, what then, is she not giving you? No, 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 no. I mean, what is she not giving it's you? Plenty, it's plenty... Now, it's been plenty of times where... Like, I don't change, Your Honor. I mean, I, I changed a lot. Like, I used to sell drugs. I used to... 
I used to cheat a lot. I used to have a lot of different women. You were just now out he's there. I used, down. To, I used to sell drugs. I used to cheat. I used to smoke a lot of weed. I used to drink. I used to just go out. I used to just do everything. But as I got saved and put the Lord first and he delivered me, it's like I changed my life because he really, because he really, he showed me a different path. Mm -hmm. Like, I, 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 I could have I still been out there in the streets, dead or in jail somewhere, but... What isn't she giving you, though? We, I understand not, about your growth, and I'm proud she's of nagging. it, but... She's nagging all the time. All she what am I nagging about? Nag and complain about nothing. Like, she, she nagging and complaining about Facebook stuff when she's on Facebook more than me. He's she meeting... Has, I'm sorry, he is meeting people... Hey, 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 no, 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 no. But, but aren't you meeting people on there? You look no, at the I, women? I just, I just created it. I, I don't even be on there. You got to pay for that. I don't even... Once I, you, I can't even... I don't, I don't even be on there like that. Because you that's the site that you got to pay for. Yeah. I, and I start, it, it didn't even start off as that a, a meeting But the payment website. part shouldn't be the part that stops it, it, you. But, you. If you are a believer, you got a wife. You got to deal with that situation exactly, first. But, exactly. You're right. You're right. You're right. But the thing is, I was looking... I was that's that's not the site that I started on. I was looking for like other Christian sites that it, it, but they it, it 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 end up pulling me to that site. Then go to it, church. It, but it, 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 go to church. Now I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna say one more thing. I'm gonna leave it here. You know, it's not the site that you picked. It's the thing that you were doing you. that is contrary Thank to you. the beliefs you espouse. That's all I'm trying to say. I understand. So, but my understanding is you believe she has been unfaithful as well, and that's what I want yes, to talk yes, about now. Well, I'm getting to pick her up, and as I'm at the corner of the driveway, Aaliyah is pulling up with another guy in the car. Like, she's, she's, she, she didn't expect me to show up early. Right. So right. I'm looking at her. I'm looking at her dead in the window, in the front window. I'm looking. I see her. Like, she's in the car with another guy, but once they saw me, they back out the driveway and shoot down the street. This guy so is that the car? So, Mr. Cannon, you say she's been unfaithful to you as well. Explain that to me. Yes, ma'am. Well, it's been times where, for my kids, they stay in Dayton. That's a whole nother city from where I'm, I live, because I live right. in Cincinnati, Ohio. My kids stay in Dayton. It was one time where I had dropped Aaliyah off at her aunt's house, which is like in Cincinnati, right around the corner, and I had to drive to Dayton to take my kids back. Right. So, by the time I would have got back to her, it would have been like two hours, two hours, or something like that. So, as I'm taking my kids back to Dayton, I, used, I came and picked her up a little early. And when I'm getting to pick her up, I'm at the corner of the, of the driveway. And as I'm at the corner of the driveway, Aaliyah is pulling up. She was just now pulling up with another guy in the car. Like, she's, she's, she, she didn't expect me to show up early. Right. So right. I'm looking at her. I'm looking at her dead in the window, in the front window. I'm look, I see her. Like, she's in the car with another guy. But once they saw me, they back out the driveway and shoot down the street. I'm like, oh, so she's trying to run. So guess what? I hopped in my truck. And I pull up on her. I, I spit. I sped down the street. Now, now we got a high speed yeah, chase. Yeah, we on a high speed chase. Look, we 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 chase. I'm chasing her, and I'm looking dead at her. So they at the light now. We had a re, we stopped at a red light. I pull up on the side of the car. I'm looking dead at her. Like, hold on, Aaliyah. You're I'm so hunking lying. my horn and everything. Uh -huh. She got a hood on, and then she look she looking the other way. So I guess she thinks she invisible, but I I know I know her. I know how she looks and everything. Uh -huh. And I'm like, so the guy ran the red light. So he run through the red light. So I run through the red light. So now I'm chasing them. I'm chasing them. The guy actually busts a U-turn in the middle of the street, fly back up the street, past the police station. You know, I'm like, you know what? I'm not about to keep on chasing them. I stopped chasing them. I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with her. I don't Me know. Me and the rest of the driving yeah. citizenry. Yeah. So we had love. Yeah, we, that. It was a full-blown high-speed chase. We chased. Ms. Garner, so did that occur? No, it was not even me in the Man, car. And I keep telling him that. I keep telling I'll him that. To you. Like, no lie. It, it really was not me in the car at all. Like, I told him Do you know somebody. that there was a high-speed chase that began... It. Where you lived? No, he told me about it. And I was down the street. Like, I had walked off. I had went to the store. Like, I came back, and, like, my aunt telling me, like, oh, JJ was outside, and he pulled Man. off real quick. And I'm like, okay. So then when I called him on the phone... That's a lie. He told me, so go lying. back to that you was just with. I'm like, what? I wasn't just with nobody. Five minutes later, she called my phone. Baby, where you at? I'm like, what, I'm like, what you mean, where I'm at? I just chased you up the street. <laughs> Dad, do not. Was, that wasn't me, baby. I'm like, man, you know what? Don't come back to my house. I'm like, don't come back. I'm um, get your stuff and get out. So I'm at the, I'm at my house. Your then, house. That's what our problems. So five minutes later, she pull up at the house. Oh baby, what's going on? What's going? On? I'm like, man, what you mean? What's going on? Don't play dumb with me. 
I seen you in the car with the guy. Like, I seen, oh, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. I'm like, man, you know what, man? Just leave me leave alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Like, I just, and I don't understand, like, why she just want to keep on lying and lying and lying. It sounds a little sp suspect, Mrs. Cannon, really. Now, I mean, it really does. I what, man, her. you know? Come why, on, it's why, sound, why was the guy leaving? Why was the guy suspect. running? Why was the guy speeding up the it street? It sounds suspect, but it really, it really was not Do me. Do you like, have any randomly, idea what she... random man was at, at the house where you were supposed well, to no, be Well, no, because he said that he was outside, and he was outside the door in a carpool, then and then pulled down, and he automatically just started chasing the car. It was her. She thought the car told other, supposedly other people. He, I'm speeding down the street and the car is chasing. I mean, he chasing the car and talking about a U turn. She actually admitted to me that it was. No, her I did not. I did yes, not admit did. that she to told you. Me, oh, Why would you You were jealous. Say that? I, that you, had a you went on a high speed chase. It wasn't that I was jealous. It was just the fact that I caught you on your last because you always want to play the victim. Like, it's always me. No, I seen you in the car, so I wanted to show you that I saw you. Don't try to get away from me. I wanted to let you know that I saw you in the car. Okay, I got you. I got you. See, it, it, it's a hot mess with all the free radicals out there. I got that. <laughs> yeah. I had picked her up from work, you know, and we started arguing or whatever, like, and uh -huh. she told me, like, well, yeah, I slept with somebody else. I had relations with somebody. I'm like, well, okay. Well, since we've been honest with each other. So I, did I. So did I. I. I had sex with somebody else, too. Mrs. Gannon, what do you have to say in response to those, that conversation? There is another significant issue in your marriage that I think we need to address. Mrs. Cannon, I understand you want to have another baby. Is that yes. accurate? I would love to. You yes. would love to. Yes, but between you, you already got 12 children. Yes. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> now, 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 how many are yours? I have five. You have five, and you have seven. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I take it you don't want any more. No, I'm cool. I, I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I love my seven that I got, but I don't, I don't need them more right now. What? what why do you want to have another one, especially as rocky as this situation is? Well, I would love to have a baby by my husband. Like, it would, it would really be something nice for me to have, but I can't have kids. My tubes is tied. Mm. So that's why him having them two kids on me bothers me <laughs> as much. Do you think that would solidify the marriage somehow, to have kids with them or something? Well, no, I don't expect for a baby to be able to fix anything, but that was in the beginning when we first got together, you know, that I wanted a baby. Right now, if we had a child, it probably would be terrible, because we'd probably be battling back and forth about this child. But the problem that I have is the fact that I cannot get over the fact that he had two kids on me. Right. You know, like, it's, it's very hurtful. Not right. you. Not only did you have one, you but turned you around two. and you had two of them by the same chick. You know, you know what, Your Honor? It's like, the thing is, her tools is tied. Uh, uh, and I'm a guy, so, I mean, my tools ain't tied. So it's what like... What does that have what, to do? Yeah, it, no, no, it's, hang on. Let, it, no, 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 let's like, just let her like finish. It's like, if she cheat and do what she want to do, won't nothing happen. Like, no matter how many guys that she mess with or sleep with, she won't get pregnant. But if I go out there and have sex, it can only be one time and it can be, like, a baby. It's like, it's, it's not, it's not, no, it's not, it's not, like, something that I, that I planned on There's happening. There's 99 million different forms of birth control out there. Yeah, but you that's want. not my, that's not my... Oh, yes, it is your responsibility. Yes, it is. It is your responsibility. Thank you. If you don't know that woman, if you don't, you, if, you, if you don't know everything is cool, you cover it up. You don't, you don't, you don't bring diseases home. You don't leave ki kids littered out there. You cover that up. You're right. responsible for that. I understand. I'm gonna talk about it's not my job. Uh, please. No, I mean, I understand that. I mean, but I take, I take care of my kids. I love my kids. I didn't know. But point. it's the fact that you had that the two isn't kids the on point. Me. I mean, you, you should take care and love your children, but you also should be responsible not to create them and have if that is not appropriate in, under the circumstances. That's what I'm telling you. You're right, Mom. Mr. Cannon, I understand you finally filed for divorce. What brought that on? It was one time, Your Honor, it was like, well, I had picked her up from work, Your Honor. Uh, as we got to the house, we got into an altercation. Like, so we started arguing or whatever, like, and she told me, she admitted, like, well, yeah, uh, since you want to keep on talking, yeah, I actually had sex about what you was, what, like, I was accusing her of having sex. What did you say to me before but, I said that? I'm gonna the, get to the you. The first get to time, you. that's what she, she told me she had sex first. Uh -huh. She told me, like, well, yeah, I slept with somebody else. I had, I had, I had, I had relations with somebody. I'm like, well, okay. Well, since we've been honest with each other. So I, did I. So did I. I. I had sex with somebody else, too. Mrs. Gannon, what do you have to say in response to those that conversation. In the midst of us arguing, you know, we saying things to each other, you know, he's saying mm. bad things. And then you all know, I'm of that saying bad came things. Up. But when he said it, 
it crushed me because I, I know for a fact that he probably more than likely actually really did it. Did it. And you just said it for a fact. And I, I just said it, you know, just to make her mad, time. but she don't get me, me wrong. She told me I she had relations first. I got it. I got that part. I got that but part. But don't get me wrong. Like, I, I don't want to make I it got, yeah, yeah. I see we are completely and utterly off the cliff. I get that. Know why we're in divorce court. Now I want to talk about the money. So, Mr. Cannon, I understand as you're divorcing Mrs. Cannon, you would like her to pay $1,325, $325 for the filing fees, and $1,000 for property damage, including clothes and tires. Explain that to me. Well, Your Honor, um, I actually did go down there and file for divorce, and uh, I had to, because I felt like it was her reason that I filed for divorce, I wanted to get it over with, so I went down there and paid $325 for us to get a divorce, mm -hmm. and uh, out of anger, she ripped my clothes up. Like, she, she cut my couches. This is the paper right here that I went to go file okay. for the divorce. And that's... Do you have anything to show me the nature of the damage she did or what she did it to? I probably, I probably have pictures on my phone about what my couch is that, she's on, that she ripped up. What do, what do you have to say about that, Mrs. Cannon? Well, when he told me that he had relations with that woman, the outfit he had on, I tore it up. Them shoes he wore that day, I tore it up. I mean, I wanted to tear up all the clothes in the closet, for real. I wanted to break the TV, the fish tank, the whole nine, for I was mad. Mm -hmm. But instead, I just tore up the outfit that he had on for that day. So that the shirt, the, the pants, the wearing. shoes, and I did tear the couch, but that's both of our couch. Like, how you gonna try that's to charge me? That's not both of our something? couch. I paid anything, for it myself. Anything if that I... you purchase while we're married no. is both of ours. Man, what are you talking about? always trying to claim something that I... I, 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 I Believe it or not, I have a glancing familiarity with the law, so I think I got that part, okay? Anything else you want to say? Um, no. no. Listen, here's the way it goes. You filed for a divorce, you paid for the filing. That's what she's going to have to pay for her side, her attorney, all that kind of stuff. You want to get a divorce, you paid for the filing, that's it. She's, she doesn't owe you the money for the filing because you believe she's the reason that you filed. You did quite enough dirt on your own, by the way. Number two, you can't tear up somebody else's stuff. Can't do it at no point in time. But the outfit that you had on probably has very little, if any, value. But I'm going to just do a little rough justice because it's wrong to tear up other people's stuff. I'm going to charge you $100 for that to pay him for his stuff. You don't have to pay for the couch. The couch was jointly owned. She tore up her own stuff. That's fine. But you can't be tearing up other people's stuff. Can I say this? I know you got... I I'm so glad y'all getting a divorce. It's, it, it's so good for you to be done. And I want you to ha be happy and move forward. Don't think about all the things that he's done for you now because you're putting a period on him. It's over. Women tend to ruminate on it, how it happened, why it happened. It doesn't matter anymore. He's just another dude off the street to you now. You know what I'm saying? You don't have any children together. You're a pretty young lady. You go out there and enjoy your life. Whatever happened between the two of you happened, and it's done, and it's over. Mr. Cannon, I hope that you have grown uh, in the bosom of the church, as you so claim. <laughs> I, I really, did. really do. Thank but you, Jesus. But part of doing that, there's no point claiming religion if you don't obey the rules that's in them. Walk how you And talk. that's what I'm asking you to do. $100 in favor of Mr. Cannon. It is so ordered. I would have hoped things would have got better between us, but um, I know as a woman how I'm supposed to be treated, and I need to be treated better.